Can I survive for 24 hours on one of the most chaotic servers in Rust? Completely invisible? Well, in this adventure, I'm gonna find out. Now today is Force Wipe, so all blueprints on all servers have completely reset, and every player is sent back to the beach with a rock and a torch. The most challenging environment for a 9,000 hour solo like myself to take on. But you guys know me. I love nothing more than to torture myself by playing solo Rust for 24 hours straight. And so, not to prolong my pain any longer, let's begin. Okay, right off the bat, I found lots of cloth, which means we can begin already with the invisible adventure. Now, you guys are probably wondering, what exactly do I mean by this? Well, as a solo player, I'm a bit of a grunt. But what if I take this to the very extreme? I'm talking ambushes from bushes, camo skins, night vision goggles, silencers, parachutes, and most importantly, <laughs> you guys get the idea. Today, my enemies won't even know what hit them. Watch out for the train. I have returned as Rogue. Hmm, you know what actually? I don't like the look of that camo. I'm gonna go with a boonie hat and bandana instead. I think that'll look better. That's more like it. Spawning on the beach near Bandit Camp, I made my way over, placed a bag as a respawn, and activated the Lumberjack Challenge. Through this, I could get my hands on a metal hatchet just two minutes into Force Wipe. I found the hidden bottle, returned it to the Lumberjack, and there it was. Oh no, I gotta go all the way over there to farm wood. God damn it. That's a long trek, but a crossbow would be nice. Screw it, let's do it. <laughs> okay, thanks Yogi. I made my way over to the forest where I could farm wood and get myself a crossbow. All right, with that pig, I can get the uh, camo netting poncho. I'm gonna be, this This is primitive camouflage right here and it looks sick. Oh yeah, I am ready. Although, I reckon I can get a better bandana. Oh yeah, that's better, that's the look. Okay, should just be these trees up ahead. Oh man, someone has a base and a bow. That's the one spot I needed to farm, god damn it. Well. Guess I'm not getting that crossbow. Unfortunately, with no weapon to defend myself, I couldn't take on the player and farm the wood for the challenge. It was time to leave Bandit Camp and head off on my adventure. At least I got myself a metal hatchet from that. Okay, and now I can get a bow. I farmed some basic resources for a starter base and made my way inland towards the center of the map. Right, I'm gonna need a door, I'm gonna need a key lock as well. Now I gotta decide where I'm gonna build. So, I scanned the map. Now I knew that to be a true ghost, I would have to be everywhere. And having multiple bases would leave my enemies clueless. And if they could never find my one true home, how could I ever get raided? But for my first base of operations, I chose the most difficult spot on the map. Okay, now this might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna attempt to build this first base right between Sat Dish, Junkyard, Train Yard, Power Plant, and Bandit Camp. What could possibly go wrong? Oh shit, okay. The camo did not work, someone has spotted me, run! That's a duo. Ow. After some farming and placing more bags around, I was now ready to build my first base. Now because today was Force Wipe, I was gonna need a very special base design that could keep me alive for the whole adventure. One that I could build multiple of across the map without needing blueprints like the garage door. Luckily, I knew just the one. Oh, I'm bringing out an old classic for today. Quite possibly the simplest, but one of the most secure bases you can build on Force Wipe. It never fails me. Oh, 
you have a game of farming outside. I'm gonna go claim my first victim of the wipe. Oh shit, it's two. Oh no. One dead. Oh, oh my gosh. That almost went very wrong. Okay, first little 1v2 to kick the day off. Ooh, thank you very much. Let's get that home. All right, first run was a success. Sit by the campfire and get some health up real quick. Cook my pork. After getting to full health, I headed out to grab some mech. When I returned, I converted my animal fat into low grade and got a furnace crafted so I could smelt it down into frags. All right, we got a furnace down 10 minutes in. This, this isn't a Wildrum video, what's going on? There are gonna be a lot of nakeds running around this area, that's for sure. Right, I'm gonna grab a little bit more farm. Uh oh. Ah, they have crosses already. Oh shit! Okay. They have the numbers. They are right next to my base. That is... <laughs> that is not good. So, I had made my first encounter with my closest neighbors. Probably a good idea to leave them be for now. It seemed that I was gonna need some more firepower. So, it was time to get the workbench level 1. Right, hopefully I can recycle here, get some components, get that workbench down. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my god, bro, I can't see him. Okay, that's like the best bow player I've ever seen. It was very quickly apparent that my area was gonna be a challenge. Ah, uh, fuck. I made a bit of scrap back and used the frags from the furnace to craft the workbench. Maybe now, things would be different. Okay, with the workbench, I can now craft the item that's gonna carry me through this wipe. The weapon rack. <laughs> I have to try it, man. It's just come out today. I'm spending my first frags on this thing. I want to see what it's like. Let's go! Alright, what have I got to put in it? I have, uh, metal tools. I have... Yes. Now this. This is gameplay, man. <laughs> Have you ever seen such a fearsome weapon rack in your life? Welcome to a, a Wildrum video where my kits are stone tools. Gaming. Ah, so that's the, the group space and... Oh. Good lord. That is, uh... That's more than two. <laughs> well, shit. So to my north, I had a group of at least five players living right next to me. Looking south, let's see if it's any better over there. Oh no, are those guys all together down there as well? There's one guy on the road there. He's obviously with the two in front of him. Oh dear. Oh, looks like a fight. Wait, that arrow was at me, what in the world? Okay, this is... This server's crazy, man. There are groups everywhere. This is like a 4v4. Um... Am I the only solo on here, man? What? <sighs> it looked like it was time to use the one advantage a solo has. Stealth. And with just a couple of stone tools to my name, I headed off to find a new home. Alright. That is everything I need for a new base. Let's hope this next spot can be less chaotic. My first thought was next to Mining Outpost, but seeing a clan already set up and controlling, I headed deeper into the forest towards launch site. Hey, I quite like these rocks around here. Definitely sneak a little solo base somewhere around here. And as the sun rose on a new morning, I laid the foundations to a second safe house. Someone farming. Kinda hope there wouldn't be too many players around here. Oh my god. He actually fought that. 
Yeah, he was farming probably to build. I need to avoid too many people being around here. this and we now have base number two let's go however not long after moving into my new home it seemed as though some other players had a similar interest oh my god that scared me actually i think i win this oh no got him Okay, looks like he was about to build. Ooh, salvage axe as well. Huge. Oh no, we got a new base right here. It's got no door though. Ooh, this guy was about to get his door on. Okay, I'm gonna go grab an axe and get rid of that foundation and I can steal the tool cupboard. With a new neighbor already trying to move into my area, I attempted to evict him before he got gear. Wait, there's another person farming here. Oh my gosh. Right, salvage axe at the ready. Let's go break that guy's foundation. Wait. No fucking way. Is another person moving in? No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Wait, I'm in. Oh, I think I'm okay. Oh, let's go. Another salvaged axe? Oh, that guy is so sad. And just like that, I had another base. Little did I know at this point just how important this base would later become. Alright, well, we not only prevented someone from moving in on my doorstep, but I also got a whole base out of it. This is insane though, in the last like two minutes after I'd moved in, and already that's two people that have tried to also build here. The server's just absolutely insane. I quickly went back out to raid the other neighbor, but it was too late. Unfortunately, in the time that I had been taking over the base, he had managed to get a door down. No way, that is so unfortunate. He must have like three bags around here. Damn it. Okay, well, hopefully it's just a solo and I don't have to worry about him too much. Settling into my new area, I now needed to focus on the basics. First up, workbench level 1, and a furnace. I farmed as many barrels as I could along the power plant road before heading home. I don't like how many players are running around here at the moment. It's not a good sign. Oh, there's another person farming down here? I saw you hiding in there different name again. This is clearly going to be quite a high traffic area. I think uh, I'm in a desirable location. Okay, well so far I have managed to stay pretty under the radar in this base. Uh, I've killed as many players as I could trying to set up. But this is going to be a non-stop battle today. I headed out with my metal pickaxe, farmed some nodes, harvested an animal, and returned to base. There, I could now craft up a furnace. And with metal now smelting, I was well underway to getting that workbench level 1. Again. While my metal was smelting, I headed out to grab some stone and wood that would allow me to secure my second base. Unfortunately, on my way there, I would learn something that would change the course of my wife. Wait. Oh no. Wait, that's... That's quite a lot of people. Fuck it. I'm not a bitch. Oh, lord! Okay, that's at least three. Oh, man. What do I do here? Fuck it. Oof. I just took an arrow to the head. Wait. Do these guys all live in that one by one? Please don't tell me. That that solo that somehow got the door down has this whole group with him. 
Okay. Well, I've heard a couple of them leave, but I'm pretty sure there is someone sitting outside my door right now. I'm gonna fuck him up. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just fucked that guy up. But I saw his name. That is the same guy. Looks like I'm living next to another group. Yep. After moving across the map to get away from the clans, another one had moved in right on my doorstep. But this is where living as a ghost has its perks. See, right now, they think I live here, and they have no idea about my main base. I intend to keep it that way. Oh, I must say, it's a little bit annoying that out of all the places this group could have built, <laughs> it's literally five meters from my front door. But I'm gonna try and stay under the radar here as long as I can. All right, it is time for a workbench level one. Boom. Well, that's the second workbench of the wipe. Okay, I am going to seal up this with half walls. This will give me some more storage and also mean that I can get rid of that wood wall. I need a little bit more stone. Now, one thing made this four swipe very different to most others. And that's because I was playing on a server that has no tech tree. Because of this, I wouldn't be able to just use scrap to get everything I needed. I was gonna have to go out into the world and fight for it. Oh shit. Wait, that's the guy I was looking for. Come here. Where do you think you're going? Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's covered me with the cleaver. Holy shit, he could have one-shot me there if that had hit me. Ooh, 120 scrap. Big. Love that. Good run, good run. We go again. Hearing my neighbors outside my base, I F1 killed and respawned in my second one, intending to throw them off the scent. Surprise! Oh, he's running. <laughs> he is running home. Oh, he's got his buddies. He called for backup. That's one dead. Oh, that hits me? <laughs> okay, dude. Ah, well, no, this is all good. I'm showing presence and I'm making sure that they know that that base is where I live and nowhere else. It's working. Right, if I'm gonna sell this, I'm gonna need to do some upgrades on this base. As long as they think I live here, I'll be safe. After securing the second base, I headed back to the road to farm more scrap. Ooh. Wait, that's more than one. Become one with the bush. I am a ghost. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> right, now I just need to kill the other one. That's a good start. Right, I'm W King. Come here, bitch! My word, he took a lot of nails. Oh, you got another teammate. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Man had a long sword. <laughs> that was my last nail! <laughs> Holy... I saw 1v4. I got nothing. That is the power of sitting in a bush. So Winter would be proud. Okay, you know what? Solo four swipe on a very high pop server. This is going okay. My new base location was looking promising. Challenging, no doubt, but there was potential. However, one thing was still lacking, and that was farm. So, I decided to build another base, and this one, with easier access to lots of nodes. Which could also act as a safe house if I ever needed it. Okay, now I want this base relatively close to my other two, but also just a bit further away from the clan behind me. But also so I can jump into it if I ever need to deceive anyone and trick them into finding where I live. So I reckon, maybe more up towards launch site. Because I think I saw lots of nodes there earlier, and that could be slightly better. Oh yeah, around here is perfect. 
Maybe by this rock here? Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Alright, let's do it. There we go. What's that? Base number four? <laughs> no one's gonna know where I actually live at this point. And shortly after setting up my new base, I heard a farmer outside. Bro, he's not dead? Oh my gosh. Wait, come on, this guy died. There we go. Holy. That guy's dead. Okay, I gotta find this body. Hey, not bad. Good amount of wood. But where is this body? There's no way he crawled that far. That's insane. Well, looks like that's another small group that are not my biggest fans. Keen to take advantage of my new farm base, I headed out to grab some notes. this base. It's a little bit close to launch site, which is nice. Maybe I should, uh, go and give launch site an investigation soon. I returned back to my main stronghold and did a bit of base management. Bop! There we go. We got a little bit more storage, so I can now craft another large box. And, even more importantly, I gotta get a new weapon rack in here. Nice. So you can't get camo skins without a repair bench. There we go. I can now change all of these old burlaps that I've stolen from people into some true camo. Let's go. Oh yeah, that looks better actually. That looks much better. Four swipes so far had been tough, but rewarding. But if I was going to be taking on the groups around me, I was going to need some better weaponry. However, with no blueprints, there was only one way that I could get them. I was going to have to fight for it. Damn, it looks like my neighbors have got themselves some revolvers. Now this is risky. And they're not going to be happy about it. But I reckon I can steal a gun off them like this. I think that's one of them on the outside. Wait, one of them's out. <laughs> DB, huge. Right, I'm out, I'm out. Fucking run! I have to go to my second base. If they see me run to my other base, I'm screwed. <laughs> no! Come on, come on, come on, come on! I need this double barrel! Please miss! Oh, shit! Oh, they are not gonna be happy now. But that double barrel was so worth it. And just like that, I got my hands on the perfect tier one weapon for a grub like myself. And all I had to do was get it back to my main base and research it. Ooh, that feels good. Got a couple crossies out of that as well, which is very nice. Question is, are they door camping me now? And will I be able to get this home safe? It looks like we might be okay. All right, got the DB. I just gotta run at home, come on. Please don't die, please don't get spotted. Go, 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 go. Beautiful. Well, we got the double barrel home. Now I just gotta learn it. And the best part is, I live right next to these guys. And they have no idea. They think I'm in that other base. Okay, if I'm gonna start crafting double barrels, I'm gonna need lots more metal than I have currently. So a second furnace is a must. Running low on resources, I return to my farming base to hit some notes. I probably should have put on some clothes before I did that. <laughs> it's quite a lot of radiation. I'm a dead man. <sighs> you know what this base needs? It needs a rug. It needs a rug. Beautiful. Game in now. After some farming, I was ready to head back out and attempt to get my hands on a gun. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is a lot of people. Do they know I'm here? I'm gonna have to single one out here. Which way do I go? Oh, there's a guy right behind that fence. I'm gonna have to go for him. Oh shit! Oh my god! What have I walked into? I need to back out and come back in. No! Oh, bastard. I gotta go back. Oh shit, rats. Six nails in a dream. No! I hit him with every nail. No luck. But going up and succeeding against these groups was gonna take more than one attempt. So I kissed it up again. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. That's a lot of wood. Go, 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 go. His teammates are not happy. Let's go see what this mining outpost is like. I haven't seen that group that built by it looting it much. I mean, it seems relatively quiet. And there are a lot of crates respawning here. I mean, I was <laughs> literally just respawned. Is that sure? Maybe I should set up a little base over here to get my components. That actually uh, could be a nice strategy. Oh, no, come on. Please, I really need the scrap. Fuck! Oh, we made it. Well, that was a decent run. I finally got some, uh, finally got some scrap and components home. Today has been wild. After a lot of primitive action, I needed a rest. I reset my furnaces and spent some time working on the base. Alright, how much scrap do I have? Quite a bit actually. I can learn the double barrel, which would be good. I think that will be an important next step. If I can craft BBs, I'll have a good shot of uh, taking on some more geared players. But first, let's see what I'm going to do with this base. And there is someone outside. I'm just not even gonna, not even gonna step out. Gotta stay under the radar as much as I can. I mean, still now, I don't think a single player in this area knows where I live. I'm sure most of them know my name at least by now, but I <laughs> have no idea where I live. Okay, what am I doing with this base? I could... Bit of square foundation or maybe a triangle. I think the triangle fits slightly nicer into the rock. Maybe a triangle and then a. Ooh, maybe I could take a bit of inspiration from Posty and have like a an oil refinery in the foundation, like there. That could be quite cool. Obviously, I'd have to get an oil refinery first, which <laughs> which four swipe with no tech tree might be kind of tricky. Can I honeycomb? I can honeycomb. Okay, this can actually be quite a strong base. If I upgrade the core to metal and honeycomb it, that's minimum 12 rockets, even without the garage door. Yeah, so foundation down there. I can see it. I can see where this base is going to go. But now the question is, where do I want the front door? I guess for now I can just do a double door frame here. Because I don't know yet where I want to have the front door. I like it though. This is it fits quite nicely into the rock. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, see this is what I wanna do, and then I can have a refinery in that lowered foundation there. And then this can be a jump up. Oh, this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be really nice. Yes. Go with a slightly more camo double door today. Sunken one. I quite like the skin actually. It's cool. And after some successful scrap runs, I can now learn the double barrel shotgun. Hey, this feels good. Getting some blueprints on Force Swipe. I love Force Swipe. I know it's tough and it's absolute carnage, but it just feels the most like rust of any other time. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe you guys get what I mean. It's just that boots on ground chaos of everyone scrapping to get different blueprints and guns and... I don't know. I feel like some of that's been lost recently with some of the, the changes. 
Looking at you, attack helicopter. And with my new blueprint, I crafted up a double barrel, smelted down some sulfur, and maybe now I'd stand more of a chance against the clans. And armed with my new weaponry, this time I headed out to launch site. That is my neighbor's farming. Come here, bitch. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> yes, the same guy. <laughs> Quick, run back to the second base. I love that they still think I live in this little two by one. Oh, it's brilliant. Okay, now I'm going to launch site. Right, come on, give me a python or a P2 or something nice in this milk crate. Five pipes. You know what? That is two more double barrels. I'll take it. At this point, I'm just going to recycle absolutely everything because I will need so much scrap. Ooh, solar panel. That's really nice. Damn, sub is so high pop that it's already respawned this crate. 20 high call? Take it. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to get greedy. I'm going home with that. Not a bad little run. And I got a solar panel too, which will be very helpful later on. There's a fight going on over there. I've got to wait for the perfect moment to ambush here. Okay, a duo have won the fight. They're losing. I think now's my chance. One dead. Two dead, let's go! Oh, it's so dark, I can't see anything. What's this guy got on him? Oh, 200 scrap! Go, go, go! Oh. You are kidding me. No, it's my neighbors as well! Shit, I have to try, but they're all gonna be there. There's at least four of them. God damn it. That's the guy with all the loot. I got him! Oh no. Okay, yeah, they're all there. No, oh, that is really annoying. I do the hard work, and then they get the loot. That's tough. That's really tough. Well, that's four swipe for you. Now, if you guys know anything about me, when I play solo Rust, I never give up. And today was no exception. It might have been four swipe and it might have been a challenge, but I was just getting started. Besides, I had plenty of the day left still to survive. So what did I do next? I crafted a double barrel. Not just one, not two, but many more. It was back to the ghost life. Bro, I am ready to wreck carnage on this land with these double barrels. These guys are not gonna know what hit them. Alright, that'll get the furnace going again. Let's get a little bit more farm. Farming done. Time to roam. Ooh. Ooh, that's an M9. Wait, I reckon I can push up to that bus stop. Oh, I can feel a play here. Going that way. Did they come back? Oh, <laughs> this is so tempting. How do I push up to them? Wait. Wait, they're coming my way. I already have they didn't see me. M9. Oh, that was so clean. Oh, shit. Wait, there's a horse. That's my getaway. Go, 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 go. Right, go. Get the fuck out of here. No. Oh, <laughs> oh no. There's always one more. 
Fuck! Now that death was rough. After beat down after beat down, I needed that break to pick things up. And different people deal with these sorts of things in different ways. Me personally, I like to go and farm and clear my head. Farming back the resources that I might have lost tends to make me feel better. So that's what I did. There we go. It's 2.1k frags. There's another 15 double barrels. <laughs> If there's one thing I've learned from my many hours in this video game, if you don't give up, eventually, things will go your way. Alright, let's go on a trip to Power Plant, try and get some scrap. Ooh, M92. Am I, uh, am I being given another chance? By the Rust Gods? Wait, this is actually winnable. They are right behind that wall. Come on, I need one of them to push past me. Oh my! That was so clean. Wait, there's someone here. Wait, there's another one. Bro, I'm scared. Oh shit! What do I do? Uh, fuck it. I'm gone. I'm not getting greedy. I'm out of here. I know I left shit, but I'm gone. I'm not even looking at that guy. I'm not even losing him. I'm going. Run! Come on, man. I need this. Just don't get killed by someone random. Go, go, go. Oh, yes. Let's go. Finally. That is the play that I needed. I got the revolver blueprint. I got two M92s. Oh my word. Oh, that feels good. The ghost that I am just disappeared into the forest. I got no idea who I was or where I came from. But I took everything. And now with my hands on a revolver, I just needed the scrap to learn it in the table. So I headed to launch site with my trusty double barrel. I just had a boot. Yeah, there's someone in there. Oh, he's getting fucked up by Bradley. Oh, he's not good. Come here. What are you running for? Get back here. Oh, I wonder what he was doing in that corner. <laughs> I knew so. Oh, 10 fuses? What the f Okay, that's 200 scrap. Bro, if I can get this home, that'll be huge. Oh my, no way is there someone here. Bro, what are the chances? Okay, I'm just gonna lead him away from the scrap I threw. Oh, got him. Okay. Holy shit. Wait, actually, you know what? I'm so low. I'm not gonna grab the stuff. Just in case he's got a teammate. Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't pick up the scrap and cloth. Oh, that was definitely the right call. Surely they don't find it, right? Alright, if I'm not mistaken... Aha! We got it. Thank god. We lost everything else, but we got the important stuff. There we go. Oh, wrong goal. 250 more scrap. Add to the collection. And we almost got enough for a tier 2. Unfortunately, I need to land the revolver first. Furnaces have been pumping. Right, I think it's time to get rid of that wood frame and get another double door in. There we go. Beautiful. With 
the scrap I'd farmed at launch site, I learned the revolver. Another upgrade up from the double barrel. Hey, this weapon rack looking kind of fire now. <laughs> we got the revies, we got the M9s, we got the double barrels. Right, I should probably go and put this metal door on the other base just to really sell that I still live there. Because at the moment, it's still got a wood door. What on earth is going on with my neighbors? Guys are having a war. <laughs> Okay, guess we get another revolver. The loot is just pouring in now. And with my new revolver to protect myself, I could now farm in more safety. Oh, that poor guy. Didn't stand a chance. Oh, he's out of pipey. Well, new gun. I must say, it's super refreshing playing without a tech tree. I feel like I'm just doing more roaming and looking for fights because you kind of have to if you want to get good gear. You can't just rely on farming scrap. Things were beginning to turn around in my way. I had all of the tier 1 blueprints I would need, and it was about time that I moved to tier 2. And being an elusive solo, I had a plan for how I was going to get it. It involved base number 5. All right, I have a plan and I think it's gonna work. See, on high pop servers like this, crate respawns at mining outposts are insanely fast. And now that it's a bit later and that clan probably aren't farming mining outposts anymore. I reckon a one by one right here and I can farm a tier two in very little time. I guess let's test that out. Yup, I was right, crates are here. Oh, this is going to be so good. Another double barrel? What? Mining outpost is so broken, man. This is like six crates. Wait, that one just respawned? <laughs> what is this? Oh, shit. Wait. That's kind of near my base. It's not quite, though. It's definitely not my base. But it's very close. Bro, oh, what? These crates are literally spawning while I'm here. That is insane. Well, in approximately two minutes, I now have 100 scrap. So I'm one-fifth of the way to the workbench. Mining outposts, everybody. Oh, fuck. Oh! Got a nail gun! I'm gonna have to outplay him. I got him. Oh, I'm three health! Oh my! Good night! Oh shit, I'm gonna bleed out. No! I'm an F1, I have a bag nearby. Nice, I got here first. Oh, he really tried again. That poor, poor man just got destroyed. They don't call me the Primlocked King for nothing. What can I say? Tier 1 is my shit. <laughs> and so, for the next few minutes, I farmed mining outposts relentlessly, losing every single crate I could and recycling all the components. I am not joking. I built this base 15 minutes ago, and I have 400 scrap. God damn. Mining outpost is <laughs> so broken. All right, how are we looking back in base number two? We got plenty of frags done in the furnace. Let's refill those right now. Ah, oh, probably gonna need to farm wood again soon, but not yet. I will procrastinate that as long as I can. 
But I'm going to put those metal frags to good use and upgrade all of my bunker. And just like that, this base will now already be eight rockets to raid, despite not even having the garage door, which is uh, pretty sick. Plus the green is pretty cozy. Yes, more rugs. This whole base will be camo netting. Okay, maybe not. This isn't one of those hidden base videos. I can't milk that too much. <laughs> oh, you know what would fit the theme of this journey so well? The parachute. Imagine parachuting into someone's compound. That's like as ninja as you can get. Unfortunately, getting one of those is going to be tough when there's no tech tree. Because I'm going to have to find it. Ooh, a battery. Wait, that's actually insane, because I have a solar panel as well. Ooh, I can set up power in my base. Let's go. And with just a couple more minutes of farming mining outpost, I had enough for the workbench level too. Using the cover of nighttime, I transferred all the loot that I'd farmed from mining and made my way back to my main base. Ah, oh, thank God for that. Well, that was a very successful uh, little adventure setting up that base by uh, by the outpost. I got a lot of profit from it. Okay, let's get these two foundations to armored as they are the main part of the bunker. God, I have actually farmed up a huge amount of stuff just in this uh, one day of force fight. Pretty happy with the progress. And wasting no time at all with the scrap that I'd gained, I crafted the workbench level 2. Hey, hey, always feels good getting that down on force swipe. And as the sun rose on a new morning, I put my solar panel to good use. Hey, a few blueprints I need to learn. I will actually learn the solar panel since I have two. That'll probably be helpful for uh, my future adventures. And then I'll also learn the small battery. Now you're probably wondering what I'm setting up this solar panel for. Well, let me show you. It's, it's pretty special. And put that up there. And then into the weapon rack. Hey! Okay, that looks pretty badass. I won't lie. I, uh. It probably shouldn't be a paid DLC. But, but it's still pretty cool anyway. I'd pay for it. I love this game. And after almost 12 hours straight of playing Rust, I needed a bit of a break. So, I sealed up the bunker and hoped that my base would survive until my return. And sure enough, it did. Alright, let's get rid of this bunker. Beautiful. Okay. Well over 12 hours into Force Swipe, it was starting to get pretty late in the day. And much of the server had started to go to sleep. But not me, because this is prime time for me to farm. Ooh, that was Saza launch site. Maybe I should go and have a little explore. It is time to decide what I actually want to do with this base. What? I actually think I want the entrance down here. I think that could be pretty cool if this triangle here was an airlock. Yeah, I like that. I like that. are secure. I'm pretty happy with this base. It's cute. 
It's the perfect little four swipe design. Nothing too crazy, but it gets the job done. Finishing off the base for wipe day, I added some simple stone honeycomb. This would take the raid cost from 8 rockets to 12. And seeing as I'd stayed completely under the radar the entire day, it was unlikely that this base would get targeted. <laughs> I like that little ramp, that was cool. The base was fortified, I'd farmed for the workbench level 2, and now it was time to roam. No, I fucked it. I fired too early. Ah, this is annoying. Come on. And twice more. I really hate the M9, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I've rotated around and I'm hoping that he doesn't know that I'm over here. And that he accidentally peeks too far. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I am hitting my shots today. Oh, let's go. Full of components. Right, I have to see what he's got. I hope this guy's just as loaded. Now, where has he crawled with this silly mechanic? Found you. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, come on, go, 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 go. Nice. That was a big win. That's probably almost 500 scrap worth of components alone right there. Camera, laptop as well, high wall, insane. Right, let's get the med syringe alert because I think that's going to help me out now that I'm roaming with the uh, guns. Oh my god, he's throwing knees! Oh. Whoa. I didn't know he could jump over that. Well, that sucks. Right. Let's have this base nearby. Crossy, nail gun. That'll do. Let's go, go, go. You know how earlier I said, if you never give up and eventually things will go your way? Well, this happened. Don't tell me. <laughs> Did these guys trade? <laughs> There's no fucking way. Oh my god. And we got the compound bow. Let's go. That is insane. <laughs> That's incredible. That has not happened to me in a very long time. Oh my gosh, people are coming out of everywhere. I'm getting home. After a whole day of not finding the compound bow, and I finally have it. The ultimate ghost weapon now belongs to me. Yes, victory. I mean, not to mention the inventory of components that I also just got from that poor, poor man. And so naturally, after finding the ultimate grub weapon, I researched it, and filled up an entire weapon locker. A second weapon rack is definitely in order. Purely for my compound bows. Oh my gosh. It's glorious. Can I put another one on? Maybe. I don't know how to rotate. I'll put it there. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. We are ready. And now armed with the god tier weapon that is the compound bow, I headed out on another road. Oh my. Oh my gosh, that guy tanked a lot. Oh. Oh shit. This guy has a compound bow as well. Oh my god, I can't kill him. There we go. Nice little 1v3. 
Never underestimate the solo. Oh my, everyone is just loaded. It's insane. Ooh, even more components. I don't even think I have space in my base for this many components. I have a target for my compound bow. This guy's not gonna know I hit him. <laughs> oh my god, that's too good. Coming towards the end of my wipe day adventure, I thought I'd explore into the Arctic, where I ran into sewer branch and found this. Oh shit, also turret? Wow. I really want to get that home, I want to set that up. I have a solar panel, I have a battery. I can make that work. Let's do it. And so in the very last roam of the night, I found the auto turret, made it home, and learnt it in my research table. So naturally, before logging off, for a bit of extra raid defense, I set it up. This is a little scuffed, but we're going with an M92 auto turret in this base. No one else on the server is going to have an auto turret in their tiny solo base, I can guarantee you that. Oh? It's working! Yeah, let's go! We have a working auto turret. And with that, I think I can sleep peacefully tonight. 15 hours of rust. And I'm pretty tired. And you know what? I'm not even worried about getting raided. Because I know that I won't. Tonight, I will sleep peacefully. But this journey isn't over quite yet. Because just 8 hours later, I was back on to finish what I started because I hadn't fulfilled my promise of getting my hands on the parachute. And today, that was my mission. I knew that my best chances of getting a parachute would be through buying it from another player. So I checked the map and sure enough, someone out there was selling the parachute for scrap. So I made my way to Bandit Camp. Oh, this feels really rough, spending all of that scrap on buying the parachute. But I hope it's worth it. I really want to try this thing out. Oh, here it comes. I'm so excited. Go on. Let's go. Right, I'm going to learn this right now. And with the parachute learned, I made my way home and immediately crafted myself a new one. Okay, so it is. Two sewing kits, two tarp, 50 cloth. That's actually not bad. That's, uh... That's pretty manageable, honestly. Let's hope it's good. I climbed to the first tallest place I could spot and prepared to make my jump. Bro, oh, I am so excited to try this. Okay. All right, let's get up to the top. Oh, then I'm jumping. In three, two, one, go! Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, that didn't work. And now my parachute's gone. To Narnia. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Attempt number one had been a fail. Maybe I just hadn't been high enough. Time for attempt number two. But with this attempt, I thought I'd take it a little bit further. I was going to launch site. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, I'm trying something that could be a little bit busted. But I should be able to get the elite crates on the top of launch. I guess we'll see. Here we go. I've heard that if you jump from this one, you won't get targeted by the sounds. I'm not sure whether I believe it. But we're gonna do it. What the fuck? All of our problems will never have to solve.